We're going to begin this hour with an exclusive and historic announcement. It comes from Spelman College. This is very exciting. The historically black women's college in Atlanta has been ranked number one HBCU for 17 years in a row by U.S. News and World Report. The college produces the highest number of black women who go on to receive their PhDs in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Now let's listen in to the Spelman board chair. Her name is Lavette Russell, who is addressing Spelman students at a school assembly in this sister's chapel right now. Welcome and good morning to all our Spelman community and especially my young Spelman sisters. As a student, I experienced the power of this historic institution and how it transforms the futures of talented young women. And today, as board chair, I know that some of the brightest young women who dream about coming to Spelman are facing financial hardships and barriers to a higher education. What I am sharing with you today is a major step to ensure more young women can achieve their dreams at Spelman College. Today, we are making history. Our long-serving board trustee, Rhonda Stryker, and her husband, William Johnson, have decided to donate to Spelman College $100 million. <laughs> live at the CBS studios in New York speaking to Gail King about this gift in Spelman College. Y'all, that means that people across the country are going to be rejoicing with us today and forevermore. Now, <laughs> let me share with you that this $100 million gift is the largest donation in Spelman's history. It is also the largest single donation to any HBCU. And honestly, honestly, it's a transformational gift to any institution, period. We are so grateful, proud, and inspired by this phenomenal gift. Thank, thank you, Mrs. Russell. Boy, oh, that was so right nicely now, done. Yeah, so Dr. you could already always tell, guys, that they already, the students sent something. Because yeah. Nate, Tony, and I, we're sitting here watching in real time going, what's about to happen? It was what's buzzing about in to, there. Yeah, there was, was a buzz. Rustling. Yeah. So as you've just heard, Spellman just announced a record-breaking $100 million donation. That is, need to say it again, the largest single mm. donation to any HBCU ever. Drop the microphone, the Stryker family. Thank you, thank you. Coming up, as we help celebrate this transformative gift to Spelman, we are very excited. There she is. Look at Madam President, Dr. Helene Gale. She's here in the studio to discuss this historic announcement. I was watching your face, Dr. Gale, as Mrs. Russell was talking. You, I know, you, I could, I could feel it. I could feel it, yes. We'll find out how this gift will help them fulfill their mission. They got some plans. Yeah, but we are back now talking about the historic, big deal, no joke, $100 million gift to Spelman College in Atlanta from businesswoman and board member Rhonda Stryker and her husband, William Johnson. It's the largest single donation in the school's history, the biggest ever, in fact, at an HBCU. And we are excited to be joined by Spelman president, Dr. Helene Gale. Dr. Yes. Gale. Good morning. Wow. Congrats, <laughs> wow. Congrats, right. congrats. We could see and hear how those students were feeling. How are you feeling this morning? Uh, you know, I'm just feeling overjoyed. And, and this is just such an historic moment. And it will mean so much, not only to the girls who are at Spelman now, but to young women far into the future. So, uh, you know, I, it's just amazing. Mm -hmm. You know what I love, Dr. Griel? I love the message that it sends. Number one, I see these young, bright women. We could already hear them buzzing even mm -hmm. before Mrs. Robinson made the official. <laughs> so you could see their little superstars. But the message that it sends is what, in your opinion? Well, first of all, the message that it sends 
says that they are worth it. Yes. And I think that that's huge. Um, I think it also says that it's worth investing in HBCUs more broadly, hmm. um, schools that have been far too under-invested in. And so I, I think this is exciting for so many reasons. For those girls who were in that room, who expressed their joy and delight, uh, who are going to create great futures, for them, for the girls who follow, and yeah. I think for um, the future of HBCUs in general. Why did the striker say, Wanda, because I know that she's a board member, she's right. on the board. Mm -hmm. I know Mrs. Robinson, who we saw on the screen, that they have a, a close connection. But why did she say she chose Spelman? Listen, they have a lot of money, we know this. They could have gone anywhere and done anything. Why do you think, what's your understanding of why Spelman was it for her? Well, you know, she has been a board member, one of our longest serving board members, and she's had a chance um, up close and personal to see how these girls' lives are transformed. She has seen the transformative power of what it means to be in a place that believes in you, believes in all of you, and allows you to be your whole authentic self. Mm. You know, when I talk to women who graduate from Spelman, they say, you know, we uh, develop such a sense of ourselves, mm -hmm. such a sense of confidence that we know we can go anywhere, yeah. that when we're in a room, we belong there. And that's the power of what Spelman and a Spelman education can do. And that's what Rhonda Stryker has had the opportunity to see for a, for a, a couple of, personal. A close yeah. and personal. Yeah. You know, people give to their schools because they have, uh, because the schools made a difference in their lives. For sure. Because they have a personal connection. She has this incredible personal connection with Spelman that I think you know, I hope she goes on to generate that for others as well. Yeah, not to mention that sisterhood that lasts lasts a lifetime. Lifetime. Um, Twenty-five million of it will go to student housing improvements and other critical projects. How else will this money be used to impact the lives of these students? Well, the great thing is that the largest proportion, three quarters of it, will go to endow scholarships. So that means that that will help us uh, provide scholarship for girls who are there today. Mm. But. As importantly, it will provide scholarships for girls who will be uh, yeah, in coming future. in the future. So this is really about securing the future for young women who want to go to Spelman uh, far into the future. And we yeah. have this incredible group of young women, G GPAs, uh, mm. grade point averages of 3.9. They go mm. on to be doctors and lawyers. Talk about it, Dr. Gay. Yeah. <laughs> Talk about it. We're scientists. About it. Yeah. You know, we're the number one producer of, of black women who go on to get PhDs in STEM. So, you know, we do so much with so little. Yeah. And that's why this gift is so transformative. Yeah. Well, your student body is watching you right now. What do you want to say to them and to the country about this moment? You know, what I want to say to my girls is I am so proud of you. Yes. You make me so proud every day. I am proud to be the, the president of Spelman College. Continue to do all the great things that I know you will do. And I guess to the rest of the world, I just want to say I hope this gives you a sense of why it's important yeah. to invest in the, the lives of young girls who go to Spelman, but also why investing yes. in HBCUs yeah. is no a, doubt. A, a great investment, a great return on investment. Thank and you. I want to say thank you to Rhonda Stryker and, and Bill yes. Johnson. And tell, tell your friends. Tell your friends. And tell, tell your friends. friends. <laughs> who's next? Yes, who's Dr. Aline Can you tell yes. Thank you yes. so much. Can we appreciate you. <laughs>